welcome back to my channel. My name is Ofri Aiko Obehi. On today's segment of Ofri Center, we are going to be talking about a happy home. A happy home. When we talk of a happy home, what do you understand by a happy home? Is it to say that every home that is happy has no bad moments or has no bad times? No. Every happy home also has sad times. They also experience some bad moments. They also experience some bad times. Stay with us as we take you through this session and as we learn together. Welcome back. Yes, a happy home. Is your house a happy home? You are a woman, you are a man, you are married, you are a family. Is your home a happy home? Is my own home a happy home? It is a question we also need to ask ourselves. Is it a happy home? Every home is a happy home. And every happy home has a sad time. A time of crisis, a time of war, a time of not so good moments. It only depends on how we handle we handle it or we 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 take we take care of it. Do we say because there are hard times or there are bad moments in the homes? We should just call call it a quit or we should just end everything. No. We should not. It should not make us end what we have started to build already as a family or as a home. And I'm going to be taking us through the scriptures because if you really want a happy home, you really want a happy home. There is no way you can get a happy home outside of the very, you know, for, or outside of the very foundation of a home or outside the foundation of the first home or outside the scriptures. Because the Bible says God himself founded the home. You say, ah, where is that written again in the Bible? God created the first man and a woman. And this first man and a man, they became a man and a wife. And they started a family, the first family on earth. They started the first home that ever existed and from which every other home on the surface of the earth today emerged from. So, now, my question is this. Did they face trials or did they not face trials? Was their home all through a happy home all the days of their life? The answer is no. The answer is no. Then that is where I am going to be talking more to the man today in this very topic in this very video i'm going to be talking more to the men let's turn our bible to the book of genesis chapter 3 when you turn your bible with me to the book of genesis chapter 3 the bible says the book of genesis chapter 3 i'll read from verse 6 but i'm going to be jump, jumping some parts you can read for yourself and the and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did it and gave also unto her husband 
with her and he did it and the eyes of them both were open i jumped to verse 8 and they heard the voice of god walking in the garden in the cool of the day and adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of god of the lord god among the trees of the garden and the lord god called unto adam and he said unto him where art thou now i read verse 11 and he said who told thee that thou was naked hast thou eat of the tree of whereof i command thee thou thou not thou shouldest should this not eat and the man said the woman whom thou gavest to me to be with me she gave me of the tree and i did it <laughs> verse 16 and unto the woman he said i will greatly multiply the sorrow okay let's jump there and unto adam he said because thou hast hacking i want us to focus now thou hast hacking unto the voice of the wife and has eaten of the tree of whom i commanded the saying thou shalt not eat of it cause is the ground for thy sake at in in sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life tongues also and taste shall it bring forth for thee and thou shalt eat the herb of the field verse 19 in the sweat of thy face thou shalt shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground for out of it was thou taken for dost thou out, and unto dust shalt thou return. You see, Adam got Eve. When God created Eve for Adam, Adam took Eve. Adam saw Eve. Adam was very happy. He was so pleased. He was so happy. He was so contented. And his life was full of joy, happiness until this great incident happened and eve went and disobeyed god also helped leading the man making the man to disobey god she felt it was a good thing for her to do she felt it was good and she 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 also gave to her husband because she, for her she felt it was a good thing even though god says we should not eat he felt it was good but i little did she know that the devil was just, you know, looking for ways to destroy a hope, a happy home that the Lord has given to them. And the Bible say at the cool of the day, when, when God came down, he wanted to check on man. He could not find Adam, was calling on Adam. And Adam said, Adam, Adam hid himself with his wife and said, god i am hiding because i heard your voice and i hide because i am naked and god was like who told you you are naked i never told you you were naked so who told you you were naked have you eaten of the fruit i told you not to eat and he said the woman you gave me give me to eat my question here is to the man if you were to be adam in those days what would you do and you see the cause, and you see at the end of the day, God placed cause upon the man. He caused the man. He said, you will suffer now to eat. You will sweat to eat till you die. You will always sweat to eat, to make wet, to make any riches you ever want, wish to make in this life. He caused the man. He caused the man. If sometime, I think if it was to be in today, the man will say, you see, you this stubborn woman. You see, you this foolish woman. You see what you have cost me? I cannot marry you again. Leave my life alone. You maybe would have packed the woman out of his life. But Adam didn't do that. And I ask you, the man, how are you joining your wife to build a home? How are you keeping your home? How are you making your home a happy home that the Lord has given to you and your wife? 
How? You say because she makes so much errors every time. Because of that, you now hate her. And you begin to discipline her. Deal with her. You know? Even if you don't show it, you don't beat her, you don't shout at her, you don't say bad words to her. Inside your heart, you are dealing with her. You stop, you now you stop to give her money. Now you stop to care for her. Now you 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 indirectly treat her like a slave. You don't want to show it. You are so conina with her. The way you, you you are so like you are careful the way you deal with her, but you are so you know you, you are not even doing anything. You are not at your best with her. Because she made mistake. The same thing with a woman. Because the man has done make mistakes, he has asked for forgiveness. He has realized that he has done bad. For you to forgive, you are now using, you are now coding, you know, to maltreat and treat him very badly. And you are, I, and, 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 and you are here saying you want a happy home. It will be hard for your home to be a happy one. If both couples, you are like this, you don't forgive, you don't grow, you don't add grown the mistakes that have happened in your marriage. And like, if this has happened, it has happened. Let's look for a better way forward. Let's move forward. Let's look for solution together for a better us in the nearest future that this will not happen or occur again in our marriage. Instead, you both are looking, for, you, you are not looking for a solution, but you are looking for how to tear yourself apart. You will know your home will not be a happy home. A happy home is a home where errors will happen. Problems do happen. Disagreements do arise. And after you have fight within yourself, Look for a way to bring yourselves together and continue again and learn from those mistakes, learn from those errors and look for how to move forward. We see an example from Adam. We saw that after Adam discovered that they have made a mistake brought by the wife, he didn't, he didn't say now, ah, if you see what you have done, you are just leave my life. I beg, get out of my life, leave my house, leave my life alone. Go your way. Let me go my way. Everybody now for himself. God for us all. Yeah, bear, bear your father's name. Go and bear, you know. He didn't do that. The Bible says he took Eve and went and hide with her. And I asked the man, after the errors, are you still protective of your wife? Do you still care for her? Do you still wish her well? Do you still look for ways to better her life? Help her better her life? It's a question you must ask yourself. Because these are the qualities that makes you the real man. This is the quality that makes you the man that you are. Not just I am the head. You know, I am the head, I am the head. We will not hear what again. And you are the head, you are not leading well. Because as a leader, you must know when people may, you must learn to, you know, live with even your, your followers the, with, with, with their mistakes. Because every one of us, at the end of the day, we are bound to make mistakes in life. None of us is an island, like the saying goes. Or none of us is like God. We are all trying to be good and better. So nobody is above mistakes. So when the mistakes happen, try. I know some people, when they do something wrong, they don't realize it. They Even when they realize, they pretend not to realize it. They pretend and try not to think, not to make it look like they have done bad things. They just pretend like they, it's, not, it's normal or they didn't do anything wrong. No. I'm not talking of those kind of people. As a real man, your duty is to look for a way out. 
and not the other way around. Now we see the example from the very first man. Despite the cause God placed on him, even before God came, he took his wife and they went and hide. He made a prom for the wife, for himself, and he made for his wife. He covered their shame. He didn't say, now go to the serpent or share the serpent. You went and listened to the serpent. You went and, and followed the serpent. And because the serpent is better than me now. Oh yeah, go now. Go. Go and stay with the serpent. Oh, he didn't say that. He took his wife and looked for a way to, you know, keep her to help themselves. And, and they, they were there. They just they were just looking for the way forward to continue their life. And they went and hide together. He made approval from the leaf, from the trees, and, and they covered themselves until God came. And you see, I know that after God has placed cost on man, verse 20, the Bible says, no, let me see, verse 19, let me read it again. Verse 19, the Bible says, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Verse 20, And Adam called his wife name Eve, because she was the mother of all living things. It was as if now the love self come, come strong past. Instead of him to be angry, but he was not angry. He called Eve. He said, you are Eve. You are the mother of all living things. And he took his wife. And God by himself now make a prune. The Bible say, and unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothed them both. Now point number two. You see, despite what happened and no matter what happened. You see that no matter what sometimes in marriage. Divorce is not the case. Divorce is not the solution. It's funny, right? Divorce is not the solution. The old thing is, is cleared out here. It is clear. It is, it is so clear to us. Divorce is not the option. Some people say it's because it was only Eve that was dead. I was Adam, Adam would have thrown her and just divorce. So no. Because even God did not bring did not say now nah, if because you have made this man that have always listened to me that have been obeying me from the beginning to sin against me to disobey me now nah, you are going to live his life live his life go your way live his life go and make this happen no the bible say god made a coat Unto Adam also to and to his wife, the Lord make coats of skins and clothe them. The coat of skins, what is the skins? The skin of animal, the leather. You know, you see today we have leathers, we have clothes, we different things are made from the skins of animals. The reason why you must cover yourself and stop thinking you can dress any hair and say, eh. After all, in the Garden of Eden, they were naked. Who told you? Who told you? So you see why when we dress naked and walk about in the streets, we are committing sin. You see when the Bible says it is an abomination, it is a sin and abomination. Many will say, ah, we too, they carry things too serious. This life, I bet, is not too serious. Yes. You see? Because God, their nakedness was precious to them. Their nakedness, God didn't want to see it. God made by, after the one, perhaps the one Adam made, Adam didn't even make it well. Adam didn't know the pattern to make it. He just make it. But the Bible said, God make for them coat of skin. God made it by himself. 
Meaning there was a pattern. If the scripture now say we cannot dress half naked, we cannot wear trousers, we cannot this, we cannot that. That's to tell you there was a way he made the one of Adam for Adam and he made the one of Eve for Eve, thereby teaching Adam how to make those things. And Adam began to learn, began to make it and they learned to make more of it for themselves. So you that is dressing naked up and down, flaunting your, your, your front or everywhere as a woman, fronting your back, anyhow, the man you want to show that your, 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 your in between is so okay, so large. Come, God is against it. So cover yourself, dress properly. Me. I'm glad I thank God. Not that me myself, I was dressing very well before. I think I think I used to dress very well. I think I was even at least trying. I tried. I was dressing very well. But at the end, I really was not dressing very well because the, the things there were some of the things God didn't want me to wear that I was wearing as at that time that I didn't know. And I, for me, I felt I was already dressing well. And now, another point to those of us that says, Yeri, no, they cannot do without Yeri. God made a coat of skin for them. Did you hear that God made Yeri and put in the ears of uh, Eve for her? Did you hear that God made Yeri and put for Adam? No. Did you hear he made chains or bracelets or what have you in their hands and legs? No. It was only clot to clot them. To tell you that God treasure us when we come naturally the way he made us. Take your bath, oil yourself and that is all. Don't try to paint your skin, paint your face, paint, paint and begin to pierce, pierce your ear. Eh? God, God created you, he didn't create you and put hole in your ear. Now you are putting hole. Let, let me, I'm just, I'm using the opportunity to, to bring out this thing because People really are misunderstanding and misinterpreting the scriptures many a times and misleading people. Now, God made that skin of coat for them. He made it, he didn't just make it for only Adam. He made it for both of them to tell you that no matter what happened in your marriage, divorce should not be the number one thing. That is, an, that is a clear message to both husband and a wife. And a, excuse me, and another direct message from the scripture to the man that no matter the errors of your wife, don't think carrying your hands up to hit her is the number one thing or the best thing to do to correct her. No, look at the gravity that uh, the gravity of the error uh, if 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 uh, made and he did the pain and affliction he brought to Adam's life. But Adam never raised hand at her. Adam never maltreated her. Adam never hold it against her. Adam rather see it as a mistake and an error. And he still love her and still clotted and still protect her. So men learn from this. If you want a happy home, you want a happy home, yes, start learning from this. Start learning. Because some men, before you know, they themselves they are not, they don't have manners. They themselves they 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 they, they have not worked on themselves. They will tell you the woman, my wife, if she has no respect for me, she has no regard. She she's so stubborn. She's wayward. She's this. She's that. She's this. Hey, I just feel like hitting her sometimes. In short, I will so beat you. I will beat her. No. Yeah. 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 Nancy. It took Eve and still protected her. That was a real man. So learn from it and stop telling, saying women brought problems and start looking for solution and stop, stop, stop. If you want a happy home. Because your happy home, it is from your happy home, your children also will learn to be happy children in the society. Because if, you, if your home is broken, you are allowing uh, problems to tear your home to pieces. 
eh it will not work oh. it will not work and in marriage it is both that work together so man don't say because your wife is a god-fearing woman and it's an opportunity for you to misbehave be misbehave anyhow do whatever you like so that she will be suffering it and praying for you if she even if she didn't if you even if she wouldn't ask you god will deal with you when god will deal with you <laughs> you yourself you will not understand god will just punish you for her eh? so don't do it the same thing with the woman don't do it don't say because your husband is a gentleman humble god-fearing man because of that now you can shit on his head no be careful if you want a happy home you need a happy home be ready to find solutions to problem be ready to be solutions to problem be ready to to bring uh, to sort for solutions for your problems be ready to to uh, be problem solver in marriage then you will be finding finding happiness marriage is a teamwork it's a teamwork it's not one person thing it's both So submit, you want a happy home. I start from here and I pray that the Lord will help us to understand this mystery of this is what today in Jesus name. Because it is a mystery. It is the grace of God to understand things like this. Many a times when God keeps bringing me back to the book of Genesis, sometimes um, I begin to wonder, there are some things when I'm asking, it will take me back. It will tell me, go back to the beginning. Just like the way Jesus told the, 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 the Pharisees when they come to tempt him, I was like, eh. it came and said, eh, eh, Moses said we should issue the letter of the verse to our wives. And Jesus clarified and he said, come, <laughs> you see that divorce you are talking here. In the beginning, it was not so. It was out of the hardiness of your heart. That Moses need to now have to, by all means, look for a way to, 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 to make you, to make you, uh, uh, you understand. So it was not that, not that it was, it has been there in the beginning. Not that it is something that that uh, that needs to, that 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 was founded by God Himself that there should be divorce in marriage. So He just clarified them, and then He gave them the He, he perfected the Lord because He's the perfection of the law of God, and He told them He said, "Look," He said He told them He said, "Now I told I tell you." For no reason should you put away your wife, except for the for 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 the for the case of I do I am um, adultery or fornica uh, fornication. Yes, I do adultery. Even at the level of adultery, you can still forgive. Now, men, and when we talk of this adultery, who com which people commit more adultery more in marriages? It is men. Why are the women not putting you all away when you commit all the adultery and atrocity? She doesn't do it. She will forgive you and still continue hoping and praying that you will change. To the point that even the world is not taking it that is it is a, it is part of the men to commit adultery in marriage, to cheat in marriage, which is not true. It's not true. But the moment this same man find that his wife make this mistake maybe the, the <clears throat> power that oh that the, the power that has that is beyond that push her to that level to commit adultery happen you will see the man really really like like a hungry lion forgetting that he will be then you <laughs> what sometimes then sometimes when this man these same men are the one that committed it they will tell you, eh, I am a man. I am a man. Meaning you are a man, you have right to do, to go and commit adultery. Is it what God told you? That you can commit adultery because you are the man. Please, you need a happy home.
Go and take your Bible and read. Then you will get a happy home. Because we actually need this happy home. That's the fact. We need a happy home. Because when we have a happy home, then we'll have a happy society. When we have a happy home where there is love, where there is we, the, we, where, where there is love, where we consider for one another or we are considerate of one another, then we will have a society where excuse me we will have leaders too that are considerate about their lead their 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 their, their, their people or their citizen it is because we have so many, it is because we have so many homes that are not well structured that is why sometimes we find so many irrelevant thing and uh, I don't know how to put it. Many relevant things in our society. We have so much, or should I say, so much garbage in the society. So let's learn to build a happy home together, husband and wife, before we will bring the children in. Okay? This is where actually I will draw the curtain of this video. And I will, in my next video, by God's grace, I am going to be talking to the women. So that you know your place too. Okay. So until I come your way again next time. Like this video. Share my video. Give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel. I love you so much. Till I come your way again.